what's going on guys and welcome to your 25th HTML and CSS tutorial and I would be uh, teaching you some more HTML tags in this tutorial because I guess I left a couple of those in my previous tutorials so uh, they are uh, really simple to learn and not to create a much of fuss let's start with the tutorial so first of all we have the SAMP the SAMP tag which would kind of create a sample of a text and if I reload this now you can see if I create some normal text versus the sample text you can see the difference in the font and the font size as well so pretty much you could do this with CSS and I don't know why I'm teaching this, uh, you guys this tutorial but uh, you can Considered it is a kind of formality for those who still are HTML geeks and would like to prefer HTML over <coughs> CSS commands. So now the next thing we have got is, uh, I guess, KBD. Now KBD would actually act like you are working <coughs> as keyboard font. So there's no difference in KBD and SAMP. If you see just two different tag names but with same CSS code so you could basically interchange and use them just like we have B just like we have B and we have a uh, similar tag name as strong so both of these are same do the same thing but I don't know why the heck W3C created multiple tags for similar functions but who cares so yeah so I have got a interesting tag so one thing I would like to tell you about HTML is that HTML if you ever noticed then HTML is not uh, is not kinda interested in preserving your spaces if you ever noticed that this is a very interesting thing so if you write hello and give a hell lot of spaces and write world right here and you reload this document then what you get is is a hello world and why the heck is this why don't we get all these spaces uh, spaces I wanted now this is a special feature of HTML which says that you do not have to reserve spaces while you are typing so one fix we have for this is use the entity NBSP and I'll teach you entities in future tutorials so for now just learn that this ampersand sign and NBSP followed by a semicolon would just create a space which would be a strict kind of space would which HTML has to follow to reserve so now HTML is kind of reserving the spaces so what if you wanted a lot of spaces so what you will do something like this and you will get this result but as you can see the spaces are still comparatively low as compared to how ugly it looks so this is kind of a very ugly thing and one thing we can do is we can do like this and we can wrap this inside a tag called pre now pre is a tag which stands for pre-formatted and pre would actually conserve your white spaces and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can do make your diff tag also conserve white spaces and we'll look at that let's reload this and now you can see that your white spaces as are uh, conserved and this is also conserved because these are two tabs right here so if you remove these and now let's reload this so you'll get like hello world and it looks much cleaner and efficient than that NBSP thing. So now let uh, let's see how you can create or how you can conserve your white spaces inside div. Go to div, open curly braces, and in the property we have got a property called white space. Now white space actually would allow you to customize how your white spaces are handled in this element and we've got a bunch of properties here but to conserve these spaces what we'll do is we'll use the pre as value now let's reload this and now as you can see 
the white spaces are preserved just like it was preserved in the pre tag so basically you eliminate the need of pre now but most of the coders would especially go with pre if they are interested in uh, kind of saving the white spaces uh, instead of doing it the CSS way because it's quick and it's cross browser obviously so that's how pretty much uh, some these some of the more HTML tags work and as I told you in my earlier tutorials the most of the HTML tags the most of the tags function which HTML do could also be customized with CSS but with the exception of some tags like your table tag and the components inside the table tr td because they are kind of difficult to code with html and i guess i should teach you tables in the next tutorial so see you guys then and don't forget to subscribe